Okay, so we have a good idea about what functional connectivity is, and we just used 3D Synthesize to create a data set, a fitted time series, of just the regressors of no interest. So a couple of preliminary steps to running the actual connectivity analysis are first, we're going to subtract that fitted time series with the effects of no interest from the input that actually went into 3D Deconvolve, and then we're going to warp that to a standardized space. This supposes that you already know how to warp an anatomical image to a standardized space. I've already done it to a Tyrex space. So if you're unsure about how to do that, see one of the tutorials in the box down below about how to do it manually. But for right now, what we're going to do is use 3D Calc, and the A is going to be the input of the all runs that we put in to 3D Deconvolve. B is going to be the effects of no interest, and we're going to use this expression to subtract B from A. And we're going to call this clean data. Now let's take a few seconds. We're going to look at it once it's done and just make sure that it looks reasonable. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to use AD warp. Or sorry, first we're going to actually look at the clean data. So this is the clean data, and it looks okay. It looks like we'd expect it to. It looks similar to all runs, but if you were to look in any of these graphs in greater detail, you would see that the time series would look slightly different. It's because we've subtracted out any effects of drift correction and any effects of motion correction. So we're going to get rid of that, and our next step is going to be what's called AD warp. Okay, and the APAR or anatomical parent data set is going to be this anat final plus TLRC. And the DPAR is going to be the clean data. And we're going to sample it to a grid of 3 by 3 by 3. And the prefix for this is going to be called EpiSubject01. Once that's done, it's just going to apply a series of warps here. And we're going to underlay our net final in Tallyrack space. So click on Tallyrack view. And then the overlay, let's click on Epi subject 01. Okay, so overlay, just make sure that it looks somewhat reasonable. Uh, you can also do this with underlay and just toggling between the two like that. Just to make sure that they're relatively in the same location. Okay, now that we have that, the next things we're going to do are actually extract a time series from a single voxel. Now we could do this with a mask or some larger region. But in this, we're just going to do it for a single voxel, extract the time series, then run a functional correlation analysis on the rest of the voxels in the brain.